Hello, I'm making here a uh, tulumba, which is also known as a churros. And um, I have one liter of plain water here boiling. Um, my water came to boil, and I put one tablespoon of baking powder, and I put half a cup of vegetable oil. And I let that fizz with two cups of all-purpose flour with a pinch of salt. And mix this well over the heat in a low flame till this becomes into a boil. Mixing it well, giving it some some elbow grease, mixing it till it incorporates well and it's no longer sticky at the bottom. The heat is still on and I put it into low flame, mixing it well. You let this cool for about five minutes and you start cracking your seven eggs room temperature whole eggs one at a time now the dough is ready we turn off the heat and we keep mixing this with a wooden spoon. You don't use a stainless steel spoon because you don't want to scrape the bottom of it. So you mix well. I have my oil here heating at low temperature. Uh, it's a liter and a half oil, vegetable oil, while I'm mixing the dough till it cools off a little bit and then I start cracking one egg at a time make sure there's no there's no shells so I crack them separate I left them at the room temperature with a hand mixer it's easier so your eggs don't get Scramble, make sure you put one egg at a time, mixing it in a low speed. As you mix, you stop and crack each egg, incorporate well. the whole eggs. And you continue to do this. Your uh, oil should be at 350, 320 to start with your columba. They have to be in a low heat and then they start to poof up and don't overfill your pan. Um, you gotta leave room so they can turn easy. They start to swell up. So you continue mixing in this. This will be nice and sticky dough. It's very hot still. You can see the steam coming out. Make sure there's no shells. So I have three eggs so far in there. This dough will be turning yellow once it's done. Just in a low speed, make sure they're all percolated. The dough is still hot. And um, sticky.
you finish the dough, you let it rest for five minutes, then you fill your press, which I have here, a stainless steel tube with wooden press, and um, you spray your press a little bit with Pam spray once you start in the beginning. And I have here my rubber spatula, gently turning them so you don't break their skins. I started my uh, first batch of churros on um, heated oil. Here I have my scissors cutting them constantly so they're all even and all the same size. The oil is about 300 in the temperature and they start to poof up as you can see. They, they turn in their own so you don't really need to flip them. So they, um, you gotta leave room in between so they can turn. You don't overcrowd the pan. The pan is pretty deep. Constantly washing my scissors and shaking them off so you don't drop any water spots. This will take at least half an hour, a batch at a time, in a low heat. And if your oil heats up too much, just move it into a lower temperature so it doesn't start to smoke. And when you fill the tube in, make sure there's no air bubbles inside make sure you put the dough correct. As you see, they turn on their own. Now that's just about right. Starting to brown a little bit as they fry. I can fit one more. Churros are done or tulumba, they're ready. All you do is drizzle them with the sugar syrup and keep them in the refrigerator chilled and serve as you please.